Moving on from that story regarding Jay Slater, we have to talk about a story that's breaking news today. Even though I don't really cover politics on here and I'm not really educated on covering it in any way, shape or form. And it's not my business because it's America. But it has been announced or Joe Biden just announced it actually on his social media account that he is stepping down. He is no longer going to be involved in this presidential race, this presidential election. They have to going to have to get somebody else to replace him, the Democrat, which is a really, really surprising turn of events because it felt like recently he was doubling down, which I respect. I'm not going to lie. I respect Joe Biden was doubling down because it felt a little bit like everybody was involved in the scam. Everyone was involved in the con, but then it was getting a little bit too conny and scammy and then decided to point fingers and predominantly pointed fingers at joe biden and he must have been thinking hold on you all know you all knew where i was you all knew what i was about you all knew where my mind was and you greenlit me you gave me the okay signal now it's getting a little bit you know now it's getting a little bit obvious it's getting a little bit bait as you say in the uk now you want to kind of turn around and decide to kind of turn your back on me no 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 we're all going down together So I'm glad that he kind of was holding on towards the end. Like, no, you don't get to change the rules now. You were okay with me before. And now you're suddenly, because everybody's noticing, because, you know, if you've been, if you've been paying attention to a lot of his speeches and public appearances, you would have noticed there's been a severe decline in his um, mental faculties for like 18 months, maybe more. It's super sad as well, because people have been posting videos of him in like 2020 right being very passionate and sharp and you know on the on, on the campaign trail just generally giving speeches and stuff and it's a complete contrast to how he is now like he legitimately sounds like he has cte or just as an older dude but um father time came a knocking and unfortunately his brain couldn't handle it but it's just funny that it's happening now it really is funny it's happening now because if you're trump you're probably thinking this has been a good week for you a good week and a half right you survive an attempted assassination by turning your left your head left and right and then your political opponent um has now declared themselves out of the race which all but confirms you know or guarantees that you'll probably win unless unless you're so hated that people would want to vote for somebody else just to make sure you don't get the seat which is entirely possible um but i'm just not too sure how people in the, in america view kamala harris i don't know whenever i see kamala harris all i see are memes of her making that that saying she got that saying about something go forward and something go back i forgot she got something that she says all the time and just her giggling the silk press you know what i mean like i don't really know much of her policies or whatever else it may be so i'm curious to see what the american public will say about her if she does end up being the next nominee but regardless of that, this is um, Joe Biden's statement that he released on Twitter, which is funny because I read some reports that some people um, in Washington found out that he actually dropped out via this post on Twitter. They had no idea before. So this news was first published on Twitter, nowhere else, which is or X, sorry, which is now becoming the norm now. So this is where you get actual breaking news, because I remember actually I saw people talking about it on X before this statement came out. I Googled it and checked the news segments and no one had reported on it. So the first time it ever got posted was on X earlier today. So this is courtesy of the Joe Biden Twitter account. The official one is dated July 2021. It says as follows, my fellow Americans, uh, uh, my fellow Americans over the past three years, we've made great progress as a nation. Today, America has the strongest economy in the world and we've made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors and in expanding affordable health care to record numbers of Americans. We provided critically needed care to millions of veterans exposed to toxic substances, passed the first gun safety law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. America has never been better positioned to lead than we are ready than we are today. Sorry. I know none of this could have been without you, the American people. Together, we have overcame a once in a century pandemic and the worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. We protected and preserved our democracy and we've revitalized, strengthened our alliances around the world. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as president and while it may have been my intention to seek re-election i believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term i will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision for now let me express my deepest 
uh, gratitude to all of those who've worked so hard to see me re-elected. I want to thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being an extraordinary partner in this work. And let me express my heart for appreciation to the American people for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today, what I always have, that there is nothing Americans can't do when we do it together. We just have to remember we are the United States of America, signed J.R. Biden. So that's the official resignation of Joe Biden. Um, funny timing, I guess. Weird, odd, funny timing. Maybe some people would say it's a bit too late, um, but maybe it also gives the person who is going to be stepping in for him a chance to maybe, you know, persuade some people. Um, to maybe vote for them as a way to kind of spite Trump. I, I feel it feels like that's probably the only way you probably will do that to be successful, I'd imagine. Um, um, despite, or maybe you come out with some policies that are a little bit more um, in favor of most people. I'm not really too sure how you go about winning this because it feels like it swung the other way. But I could also see a scenario where everything that we've been reading about Trump being the short bet is completely off as well. I can see that happening too. Like nothing is guaranteed these days. You know what I mean? Things can be fudged. Things can change. Swings and roundabouts. But Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Joe Biden is out. Joe Biden is out. And it's funny because, you know, they were gaslighting the public for a while, innit, the Democrats? They're acting like he was perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with the guy. You guys are all imagining it. And it's like, bruh, that you need to listen to him. And the thing that was sad about Joe Biden and his, you know, um, degradation of a, you know, his detouration, de 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 right, over the last couple of years, right, <laughs> wasn't the way he was speaking, wasn't his face that looked like he had a, you know, a, a couple of facelifts and a couple of bits of Botox. The really sad thing was when he would stand there and like he's staring off into the distance and not moving. That's when you knew, oh man, like he would just be standing there, just <laughs> just like, God, he's not there. And then to be fair to him and the aides and the medical department in there, they need to, they need to publish, they need to publish the, the stuff that he took because they kept him alive. They kept him ticking for longer than probably a lot of us thought. They need to publish all that stuff because whatever they pumped him full of, bro, it kept him going for a while. Like it kept him, it, again, it didn't look pretty. It didn't look great on the eye, but he was still able, you know, to do interviews, go on the trail, give press conferences and shit. Like <sighs> when I think a regular person who doesn't have access to the drugs that he had might be in a old people's home right now, you know, or might already have been there already. So damn, 